Hey folks, AJ the CEO, and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Unify 24 port PoE switch, which goes along with this network redesign that we're doing at Lebanon Baptist Church, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member to help support this channel. Link is in the description. So this is another piece of the puzzle for the Lebanon Baptist Church phase one where we're redoing their network, which actually did not exist in any way, shape, or form. So we are already went over the Dream Machine, the Unified Dream Machine Pro, which is gonna handle their networking. It's gonna be their router. It's gonna be an eight port switch. It's also going to be an NVR for their security cameras that we're gonna be adding down the road. But this is going to um, be a piece to help get everything up and running. So let's go ahead and open this box up and let's see what's inside. This is nowhere close to as big as the UDM Pro, which is cool, because I'm running out of spaces. I got a whole bunch of boxes here. <laughs> and it pretty much looks almost exactly the same. I still got some stuff left over from the other one. We got a little box with most likely the power cable and mounting stuff and um, ears and all this other stuff to hook it to our networking rack. And to be quite honest, I'm thinking about buying one of these to replace my 24 port switch. I still have the original um, with a PoE, a secondary PoE switch to go along with it. Um, depending on how this works, I might just buy one of these and replace the whole things that I have with my network, put this in place to get rid of all the other components, and then probably donate my 24 port switch to the church and put that in the media booth so that everything in there is all unified. And then also maybe the PoE switches that I have here, I will donate those as well so I can get rid of the injectors that are throughout the building. All right, so this is the newer switch as well. We have 16 PoE ports. So all these other eight won't work with it, but that's more than enough because we have three access points and we're gonna have maybe nine cameras, so that's 12. Um, and then, but we still have connections that are running everywhere else. Um, so I need to make sure we go through the numbers again, but that's why we did that schematic, so we know where everything is. There's our vents as well. And I believe they said these are fanless, I believe. Yeah, there's no big fans like they were on the sides. Um, we have the, and I like this because you can synchronize this little screen just like with the UDM. Um, and we are going to be connecting this over the SFP port. The UDM Pro, they have SFP Pro, which is 10 gigabit. This is one gigabit, I believe. All right, so straightforward, 24 ports, auto sensing, auto of fun stuff. This has a regular power cable. It does not have that new power um, backup um, plug that Unify has. All right, and then here, yep, we have our networking ears, we have our plug, which I need to save this because in the rack that I have, that is very, not a lot of space, so I don't need this much cable in there. And then we got our mounting, screws and then we got the booklet very straightforward so what i'm going to do is hook up everything put this a um together <laughs> as best it is which is just this and i already have the udm pro in the rack what i'm going to do is add this to the rack and connect it over the copper connection and then go through adding it to the network so that we can see what it all looks like by and go through that whole process. So let's go ahead and jump ahead and we'll be back in a second. All right, so we are back on the actual Unify controller. 
that was set up. Well, actually it's my account and now we're gonna log into the controller because it's back online. Um, let's go in here and we're gonna go to the network. Now, I like the unified controller stuff because once you set it up, it propagates throughout all the devices. In the previous video where we set up the UDM Pro, we set up the wireless and all this other stuff. And I'm going to show you just how simple it is once you set up the brain, the controller, which is what the UDM Pro runs as well. It used to be a separate device, how everything is coming and gets connected to this. So we're going to go to devices and we should see a device that's going to show up on here. And I think it's probably because I'm connected over the copper and not the actual connection yet. But let's see. Let's go to our ports here and see we do have a connection right there. That is port number 11. And that is on, hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and instead, I got another cable here. So we're gonna connect this over just a regular connection. And we're gonna connect it to one of the ports here. The eight port switch that's built into the UDM. And then plug the other one directly into the switch. Now we get something lit up. And as you can see, there it is lit up right there. But what we're gonna do, we are gonna switch it over to where it's actually using that port, which frees us up with our connection. But let's go ahead and um, get everything adapted. So you can see it's ready for adapt, um, to be adopted. And let's just go ahead and click on adopt. And because it's the base unit, it just came out, all of the stuff is already set, so we don't have to hit new password or type any stuff like that. And it should be pretty straightforward. Now me personally, I'm always going to install my stuff a certain way. So I actually like to have my naming structure a certain way. So the IP addresses for my devices are always gonna be between one and 20. And I know where they are, that includes the access points and then um, computers that need to stay on that are hardwired, they're gonna be a certain range, everything like that. And especially devices that are on Wi-Fi on the security network, which is the one that talks to this network, the hardwired one, those are the ones that I'm gonna be very particular about in their naming and their numbering. So we're already configured, that's how fast it went. The Dream Machine has an FFP Plus port and this can actually, you know, go up to 10G. And it's set to do auto negotiation, but for whatever reason, it's not auto negotiating. So what I had to do on my personal system and this one to get it working, because nothing, as you can see, nothing is connected. We have to go in here and tell it this is a one gig connection. It will override. Give it a second. And boom, look. We have a connection now. So what we're going to do is give this a second to link up and then we should have our device connected over here. There you go. Adopting connected. Boom. That's all it was. I don't know what's going on with the auto um, negotiation um, between these, but hey, it's working now. And it's actually asking me to downgrade. So it makes me think that maybe something needs to be updated on the controller. But as you can see, we have a connection. We have all 24 ports available. And we're gonna be connecting some PoE devices to this pretty soon. But that's it. And as you can see, it carried over all of our settings here. We have our network um, DHCP, which I'm getting ready to change and give that a static IP address. I'm going to give that a uh, one of two. And this part y'all can't see because the camera is covering it. But all right. So now y'all can see it. We're going to let's move over here. We're going to queue our changes. Apply. And then this is going to update. 
And I'm really excited to test out the, the POE just to see what's going on and see, boom, that was fast. Now let's go ahead and actually do that because I actually have, because it is now no longer in beta, so I can actually talk about this. I can talk about the Ubiquity um, VoIP phone here. This is something I was looking at doing at my church. This was the other, re and as well as for my business, this is, re and it's been dusty, so. Um, this is something, I mean, this is a very good, I like it, and it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, like a nice color screen and all this other stuff, but it does work very well. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and connect this to the PoE in. And we're gonna connect this to one of our plugs. Boom. Now let's see, what do we get? It is powering up. I mean, it is powering up. I see the phone coming on board. And we're just waiting to see the connection show up on here. Because if we go over here to clients, we should see something here pretty soon. And maybe I shouldn't have did, well no, I was getting ready to say maybe I shouldn't have done this because the, the voice over IP stuff might have picked it up, but we turned that off on the controller. And I actually have a different brand of phone that I might try with this, but I have a bunch of devices. I have some access points and some things like that as well. And boom, there we go. There's our connection. We got it connected. Excellent. Tells us what connection we're on um, and all that other fun stuff. All right, folks. So uh, that's about it with the Unify 24 Switch PoE. Um, I actually <laughs> realized this is a couple of days after I recorded that because I didn't record an ending to it. But pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to be now I could have connected the three access points that are going to go to it, but I wanted to do that as a review of those products as well, too, and just show everything that we did to put this thing together. That's the only other piece that we have to get this church unified and have a network throughout the entire church. Um, today is Tuesday and we're going to actually start the install tomorrow. So we're going to go over the access points and how to connect them to this full setup. And then I will be finished with the individual parts. And I think that's about it. A link is in the description. If you want to pick up one of these switches for yourself, for home or for your church. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons who made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, as well as you can now become a YouTube member by clicking the join button right underneath this video. And that starts as low as $4.99 and you also help us no matter what path you go, whether it be Patreon or YouTube membership, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.